The income statement and the balance sheet are connected in the following way. Net income from the income statement affects retained earnings on the balance sheet. You can see that here with Amazon. At the beginning of 2020, Amazon had $31.2 billion in retained earnings. It then posted net income of $21.3 billion for 2020. Thus, Amazon's retained earnings at the end of 2020 was $52.5 billion. Retained earnings increased because Amazon posted a profit. If Amazon had instead posted a loss, retained earnings would have went down. Now let's look at a different company, ExxonMobil. The company had $421.6 billion of retained earnings at the beginning of 2019. It then posted a net income of $14.3 billion for 2019. However, retained earnings was actually lower at the end of the year. This is because Exxon paid $14.6 billion of dividends to its shareholders. And while net income increases retained earnings, dividends decrease retained earnings. Thus, ExxonMobil's retained earnings at the end of 2019 was $421.3 billion. This was equal to its beginning retained earnings balance plus its net income and minus its dividends.